come to order, please? Good evening and welcome. Um, first item on the agenda, call to order. Owen J. Roberts, Board of School Directors, regular business meeting, Monday, April 24, 2017, at 7.04 p.m. Um, please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. Please remain standing. Please join us in a moment of silence as we reflect those serving the United States Armed Forces, both past and present, the elected leaders of the state of Pennsylvania, and the elected leaders of our nation. We have much to be thankful in our community. Please be seated. <clears throat> Item three, executive session. Before I announce the executive session, just want to make an announcement that Mr. Freeze is attending the meeting tonight through um, conference phone. Executive sessions. There was an executive session held on Monday, April 10, 2017 at 2.45 p.m. in the administration building boardroom to discuss personnel matters. Then there was an executive session on Monday, April 24, 2017 at 6.30 p.m. in the high school library to discuss legal and personnel matters. Item four, superintendent's report, Dr. Christian. Thank you, Mr. Kleinfelder. Item 4.1, the Student Government Executive Council President's Report. Jacob, the floor is yours. Thank you, Dr. Christian. <clears throat> My student government report to the school board, April 24th, 2017. For East Coventry Elementary, on May 11th, students will be recognized at First Energy Stadium during a Redding, Redding Phillies game, while two lucky students will throw out the first pitch of the evening. The recognition is part of the school's positive behavior program and open to any student who received a Wildcat recognition ticket this year. On May 5th, East Coventry will open its doors for the community to enjoy an evening of the fine arts. Stations will be set up around the building for children to make crafts. A musical performance will take place in the all-purpose room and ice cream will be served. At East Vincent Elementary, on April 11th, the students and staff said goodbye to Old East Vincent with a variety of celebrations and last tributes. The PTA had previous host previously hosted goodbye events for students, um, alumni, and the com community culminating with a fabulous family goodbye dance. On April 18th, the students and staff were mesmerized as they entered the new building. The day was treated like the first day of school year, with students starting in the new auditorium, practicing new routines in their homerooms, taking tours, completing a fire drill, and an end-of-day Zumba dance to celebrate. Mrs. Melissa Booth, chairperson for the Buildings and Grounds Committee, provided opening remarks as Rory Booth, student council president, undid a red ribbon. A special thank you to Dr. Christian and uh, school board members in attendance for all the support. For French Creek Elementary, French Creek welcomed redistricted students from the West Vincent North Coventry on April 20th. Students ex exited their buses and were greeted by the entire student population and given a personal student ambassador as an escort to tour the building. 
Sixth grade students would like to invite you to visit Rita's Water Ice on Route 100 on April 26th from 6 to 9 p.m. A portion of the proceeds will support their end of the year celebration. The annual art show and spring concert will be held May 3rd from 6 to 8.30 p.m. The first annual career day will be held on May 9th. Students are encouraged to dress in outfits and uniforms of a profession they might want to consider. Second grade students will hear from guest speakers from various professions. Special Olympics and the fun fair are planned for May 12th. And the annual sixth grade versus staff kickball game will be on May 15th. For North Coventry Elementary, fourth graders were visited by North Coventry resident and Native American Pat Harbach as a culminated, as a culminating activity to, to their study of Native Americans. Mrs. Harbach is of Navajo and Cherokee heritage and goes by the name Clan Mother Star. At West Vincent Elementary, on March 17th, our third grade class celebrated Biography Day. This is an exciting day where our third grade students showcase their creativity by dressing up and presenting themselves as a notable person, such as an artist, athlete, politician, author, historical figure, or anything along those lines. Thank you very much. That concludes my report. Thank you, Jacob. Item 4.2, our student recognition. We have much to be proud of as we totally crushed it at Odyssey of the Mind this year, didn't we? <laughs> we have many teams to recognize this evening, so we'll bring each team up individually. Uh, as each school takes their seat, we'll ask, uh, we'll give each team a round of applause after everyone, <coughs> excuse me, after everyone has been recognized, uh, we'll have set up outside for pictures with Mrs. Recton. Uh, up first, I believe we have uh, Rose Vey as the advisor in the East Coventry Elementary School Odyssey of the Mind team. <clears throat> everybody, thank you. I'd like to present the East Coventry Elementary team who was first in the region at their first competition. They came in second place at the state level and right now they're getting ready to travel on to world finals. So I'd like to announce them. Alora Arnold. Gabri Gabriella Bazzano. Aiden Burrell, <laughs> Haley Byers, <laughs> Victoria Fogan, <laughs> Jade Jenkins, <laughs> Paul Amison. <laughs> so give these guys a round of applause as they get ready to represent at World Finals. I also had the pleasure of coaching a high school team who also went on to state finals. And I'd like to welcome up Seth Bradley. I'm not sure if she, Caroline Hall. <laughs> Haley O'Donnell. Emma Venanzi. <laughs> Emily Wonder. <laughs> and two students who also could not be here, John Patrick Duffy and Sydney Morrison. <laughs> and now I'd like to welcome up Mrs. Yarbrough, who coaches the French Creek Elementary team. Hi, I have the honor of coaching um, French Creek's Odyssey of the Mind team, who's taken first at regionals and also first at states and is moving on to the world competition. 
I'd like to congratulate Ava Bernheimer. Sarah Cass. Nicholas Schramel. Grace Dales. Anya Groth. Sophia Lineman. Brooke Riddell. These kids make a robot with four mechanical parts. They learn to solder, make a complete circuit, and their mechanisms had compound joints. <laughs> Take a bow. And next I'm going to introduce Patty Janda, the coach from North Coventry. I had two teams move on to the state finals, and one was my middle school team, Brooke Banninger, Andrea Broxma, Riley Carlson, Isabella Harmon, Emma McVicker, <laughs> Kaylee Yuba, <laughs> and Jane Zani. <laughs> Thank you very much. My high school team that took first at regionals and moved on to state finals, Jacob Buckwalter, <laughs> Lily Bittler, <laughs> Melinda Burns, <laughs> Abby Hannes. Katrina Subic, <laughs> Stacia Subic, <laughs> and Angeline Vitti. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations on a great year. And now I get the pleasure of introducing the master Omer, <laughs> Chris Polochak. This is my helper, Annie Arditti. Introduce to you first the East Vincent team. They were regional champions and state champions. Christian Carroll. <laughs> Mr. Gavin Sinkowski. <laughs> Mr. Daniel Epps. <laughs> Mackenzie Gorman. Amon Pothikamuri. <laughs> Kayla Shea. <laughs> Kayla 
and Angelic Ava Zepp. You guys can just stay there. We'll call up your uh, buddies. Let's do the middle school. These also were state champions and regional champions, and we'll start with little Addie Darcy. And Olivia Duvall. And uh, Mr. Tristan Dietrich had a baseball game tonight. Yes. Wonder what that's like being multi talented. <laughs> Emily Glazier. Charlie Cullen. Anat Pothika Murray. And Mr. Nick Wood. Guess who's right on top? High school, regional champion, second place at the States, Annie Arditti. And her amazing big brother, Jonathan Arditti. Mr. Liam Conway. Daniel Duffy. Yes, little Casey Fitch couldn't be with us tonight. Probably a talent thing as well. <laughs> Alex Glazier. Yeah, you, you can clap for her. Maybe she can hear. We have Mr. George Collett. <laughs> Take a bop. If we could ask everyone to stay, uh, we'd like to take a minute at this time to talk to you about Mr. Polochek. We share great pride in the accomplishments of all of our OM teams this year and in past years. As a district and a community, we also take great pride in Mr. Christopher Polochek. He's an OM coach and to many, the face of OM. Mr. P not only coaches East Vincent students where he teaches sixth grade, he coaches middle school and high school. He has coached up to four teams in one year. In addition to support and grow our OM program across the district, when asked, he's always willing to mentor a new coach. Tonight, we are recognizing Mr. P for 20 years of coaching, and in that time, 50 teams that have achieved the level of world championships. Please join me in showing your appreciation to Mr. Polochek for his years of service to our students and districts as, to well, as well as to what he represents to those who know him, honor and integrity. Mr. P. wrote that all myself. <laughs> and a big thank you to the school board, Dr. Christian, all the principals and the community for your support. All the coaches and the students in Odyssey relish the opportunity to represent the school district in these competitions. Michigan comes up in a month. Hope to do you proud. Thank you. We know you will.
Item 4.3, the Citadel Heart of Learning recognition. The Citadel Heart of Learning Award is a nationally recognized program through Citadel Banking and the Chester County Intermediate Unit. The award is designed to honor and thank Chester County teachers while raising awareness of the impact on students, families, and the entire community. On March 24th, the 2017 Citadel representatives awarded East Vincent Elementary School Carrie Matan the Citadel Heart of Learning Finalist Award for the ONJ Roberts School District. Carrie will receive a $500 award to purchase supplies or other items for her classroom. Nominations for Ms. Matan described her as a dedicated, energetic, and encouraging teacher, born to teach. One nomination read, we want the school to know what a treasure you have in this teacher as an instructor and within the district. On May 9, 2017, finalists from all school districts in Chester County will gather at the award, awards banquet. As is our tradition here in O and J, we'd like to recognize each of, our, each of our teachers who were nominated for this prestigious award. We certainly appreciate all of your efforts as evidenced by our, not only our successful Odyssey of the Mind teams, but the success our students experience every day in school. I'd like to call Mr. Oswald first to the microphone so we can recognize our East Coventry teachers. Todd? Thank you, Dr. Christian. At this time, I'd like to uh, call the East Coventry teachers who were nominated for the Citadel Heart of Learning Award. East Coventry teachers, if you can come up and join me, and we'll call you uh, one by one once you're up here and recognize you. Come on up. We are fortunate to have a number of the teachers uh, here with us this evening. Uh, each of them will be going home with a certificate, uh, but beyond that, going home with the uh, sense of pride that uh, the community, their colleagues, uh, have recognized them. So at this point, we'll go right down the row. If you can give a little, a little wave. Uh, the nominees from East Coventry uh, are Miss Mary Rita Bonner, Mrs. Michelle Romanello, Miss Bobak, Mrs. Betsy Shantz, Mrs. Danielle Ponto, Ms. Mrs. Meredith Gallo, Mrs. Jen Marshall, and Mrs. Loomis. These are the East Coventry nominees for Citadel Heart of Learning. And there were a few other individual teachers, uh, staff members from East Coventry who unfortunately were not able to be with us tonight, uh, but we are proudly displaying their names uh, behind us. So could we have one more round of applause for our East Coventry teachers? Thank you. At this time, I'd like to turn the microphone over to Dr. Melinda McKillop. Good evening, everyone. At this time, I would like to recognize our French Creek honorees. Um, unfortunately, Mrs. Sarah Allender, Ms. Shelby Rowland, and Mrs. Amanda Holmes were not able to be with us tonight due to previous commitments, but I will be sure to pass along their certificate to them tomorrow. But I would like to recognize Mrs. Jessica Stone. Mrs. Stone is a third grade teacher in our building as well as a French Creek parent. Mrs. Krista Troutman. Mrs. Troutman teaches second grade, and she too also is a French Creek parent. And our Odyssey of the Mind coach, Mrs. Pam Yarbrough. But I believe Mrs. Yarbrough is with her team right now, so we will be sure to pass along her certificate. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce Dr. Kathy Soder, our assistant superintendent. She will recognize North Coventry. Thank you. 
Dr. Lloyd could not be with us tonight, but we certainly want to recognize all of the North Coventry teachers who were part of the nominations for the Citadel Heart Learning Award. So please, North Coventry teachers, when you hear your name, if you could come up front. Joanna Abramson, Lisa Beeler, Kelly Bean, Catherine Bell, Elizabeth Bevan, Brandon Billstone, Susan Bittler, Kate Simo, Kristen Colfer, Oriana Dimitris, Marcy Dunn, Clifford Hall, Jennifer Heckler, Patty Janda, she may be in the hallway still, Allison Culp, Amy Lukowski, Karen Levins, Dr. Lloyd, Tim Maher, Lauren Pringle, Patrice Ritchie, John Sands, Emily Sassman, Kristen Schwenk, Ashley Sergis, Faye Tedesco, Tanya Vogel, Carly Youngblood, Elizabeth Zevin, and Nick Zerga. Congratulations. Thank you very much, North Coventry teachers. I'm going to turn things over to Mr. Smith. Thank you. Good evening. It's my pleasure to uh, introduce uh, the staff of West Vincent who were nominated. Uh, unfortunately, a couple could not show up. Mr. Seth Lucas, Mrs. Laura Van Emmen, and I'm joined tonight by Miss Julie Feldman along with her two beautiful little girls. Ms. Feldman. Next, I'd like to introduce Mr. Sean Burns. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I have the pleasure of recognizing our middle school teachers who were nominated this year. If the three that are here tonight would come on up. We did have a few that were not able to make it this evening. Um, Stacia Bickle, Cheryl Markovsky, Taryn Knox, and Ingrid Fake. And I'm joined this evening by Jennifer Scott, reading specialist, Betsy Ross, learning support teacher, and Kira Rump, a learning support teacher in our building. Congratulations and thank you for all your hard work. I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Marchini. Thank you, Mr. Burns. Uh, if the teachers as called could come up, uh, we had over 40 nominees at the high school. Uh, if the interest of time, if you could come up and I can give you certificates uh, right after the meeting of the picture, okay? Uh, Bill Corral, Brett Galambas, I'm not sure if Brett's here, Laura George, Ryan Howard, Jim Hunter, Kelly Joyce, Mark Lieberson, uh, is Jody McMahon here, Todd Mengel, Keith Morris, Donna Pioli, 
Mary Powers, Natalie Smith, Karen Susadell, is Daryl Walmer here? Uh, Daryl was nominated and he retired last year, so you can tell he's still a great teacher. <laughs> Bridget Wynn? I think that might be it. Did I miss anybody who's present? As I said, there were over uh, 40 teachers from the high school nominated. Uh, so many were not able to come, but congratulations to this wonderful, wonderful group of educators. Thank you. At this time, I would like to recognize the teachers from East Vincent that were nominated. And uh, I'd call to join me, Matt Brewer, Mary Kate Cardella, Matt Famous, Carrie Maton, Danielle Rapp, and Kathy Sachs. Others that were nominated but uh, were not able to attend this evening are Tori DeCesar, Amanda Martin, Tricia Oswald, Carlin Sensony, and Matt Benza. Congratulations, East Vincent nominees. Thank you. As Dr. Christian previously announced, uh, Carrie was nominated as the representative from our school district uh, to represent us for, as a finalist. And I'd just like to add to his comments that in addition to all of the teachers that we're representing here tonight throughout our district that are inspiring to us, Carrie is a bright, energetic, enthusiastic, inquisitive, and she just oozes with enthusiasm because she loves children. She relates to them at their level. She challenges them to do more than they sometimes believe that they can do themselves. And she does all of this with passion. Just as Carrie credits her second grade teacher with making a difference in her life, she's committed to building her students' self-esteem their confidence and their abilities every day, and their can-do attitude. I cannot say enough that Ms. Maton is a treasure to our district. I could not be more proud as a fellow educator that Carrie is representing Owen J. Roberts as the Citadel Heart of Learning finalist. Thank you. I just want to say that I am truly honored to work with such great staff and to have such supportive administrators and school board and it's truly an honor to work at ONJ Roberts and thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Con congratulations to all of our honorees. Item 4.4, the superintendent's report. Just a few items for the board. Today we commenced PSSA testing in the area of mathematics. This is round two of PSSA testing. Uh, we will wrap up PSSAs in early May with science and keystone testing at the high school and middle school is scheduled between May 15th and May 25th. Our spring choral band and orchestra concert season will begin in early May. Please visit the district website for additional information. Lastly, the high school junior senior prom is scheduled for Saturday, May 6th, and the post prom event will be held on the Spirit of Philadelphia. Thank you again to all of our volunteers, including staff, parents, and community members who will be dedicating their time at these events for our children. This concludes my report. And similar to my English class, I'm driving everybody from the room. So. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Christian. Okay. 
Item 5.1, public comment. Information, proposals, and statements for individuals or delegations pertaining to items on the agenda. Speakers are to indicate your name, township of residence, and the items on the agenda in which your comments are addressed. Speakers will be limited to not more than three minutes. My name is Lisa Deal. I'm from Warwick Township, and I just wanted to thank the Curriculum Committee and the Administration for agreeing to look into our grading and GPA conversion policy in order to make us more competitive with the districts and students in our surrounding area. Item 6, Board Committee Reports, 6.1. A meeting of the Committee of the Whole was held on Monday, March 27, 2017 at 6 p.m. in the Administration Boardroom. Um, the following committees met, Curriculum Instruction. A meeting of the Committee of the Whole was held on April 10, 2017 at 7 p.m. in the Administration Boardroom. And the following committees met at that time, Buildings and Grounds, Curriculum Instruction, and finance. The next committee of the whole meeting will be held on Monday, May 8, 2017 in the middle school LGI room. Item 6.2, buildings and grounds, Mrs. Booth. Thank you, Mr. President. April 10, 2017, the Buildings and Grounds Committee moved the French Creek Elementary School roof bid to the full board for approval this evening under new items, new business, item number 13.9. Also under B&G items in tonight's agenda, we have item 13.11, bids in accordance with CCIU joint purchasing agreement, item 13.12, professional services and or maintenance agreement with JADD of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, also for the French Creek on-site roof inspections. Item number 7.10 is the receipt of Plan Con H for East Vincent Elementary School and also Plan Con H for East Coventry Elementary School. The next scheduled Buildings and Grounds public meeting will be held May 1st 2017, 6 p.m. in the administration boardroom. Quick updates, obviously the opening of the brand new East Minson Elementary School was indeed exciting on a beautiful, bright, sunny morning and wonderful, happy faces filtering into the school. The happy voices were so loud in the gymnasium, a few of us just had to go back and watch, watch the events and it was indeed wonderful. I uh, want to thank everybody for all their work and all their efforts in that arena. The staff was wonderful in providing input to our architects and to the administration for the needs, and so far, so good. Next thing, April 1st is the, um, I'm sorry, April 26th, which is Wednesday, is the public East Vincent on-site public auction for whatever's left in the building and for whatever else somebody might want. Things that can be picked up and taken out can be done so. There will be items that will have to be picked up at a later date. Um, phase two of the facility upgrade project will commence. Uh, down it comes May 1st. Thank you, Mr. Kleinfelter. Thank you, Mrs. Booth. Item 6.3, Chester County Intermediate Unit Report, Mrs. Barkas. The Chester County Intermediate Unit Board of Directors held its monthly meeting on April 19, 2017 at the CCAU Learning Center in Coatesville. The following items were discussed. We as the Board of Directors of the CCAU received the first reading the draft of the 2017-18 Marketplace Budgets. Dr. O'Brien and, and Joe Lubisky, Directors of Immun Administration Services, presented the 2017-18 draft budget to the board members and answered questions. Dr. Aris, who is the Director of Student Services, presented the recent reorganization that was completed using an employee training program. The goal of this program, especially with behavior support personnel, was to increase utilities, okay, sorry, <laughs> to better utilize best practices amongst new staff 
by providing real life scenarios and modules that will give them more experience in the situation that they will be placed in. The newly hired staff are better ready to work and are being placed in situations where the teacher who is the regular ed teacher in the classroom doesn't have to like back support them and teach them while students are there. So this is something that is one of the IU's yearly goals and was presented after implement implementation in February. We also had Dr. Aris and Mr. Ian Strachan, who is the Director of Human Resources, gave us an update on one of the organizational goals, which is administrators on assignment. This is for school districts who are finding a need um, either with something that they might not necessarily have personnel for that they're trying to work through. It could be something as far as curriculum and implementing Common Core to Keystones to um, HR, even actually teachers. And what they do is they provide um, a lot of times retirees who can come in and fill that in a contracted situation so that the districts have um, an experienced person while they're able to go through the hiring process. Um, this is one of the ways that they're trying to make money as the IU so that they no longer, not no longer, but they don't have to raise our costs to send our students to their programs. So it's one of the ways that they're outreaching not only to the county, but they've started to expand out from Chester County as well. In finance, um, we acted on the following items. We approved the 1718 core and occupational education budgets, and we considered in first reading the marketplace budget. Our next meeting will be held on Wednesday, May 17th at 7.30 at the Educational Services in Downingtown, and that concludes my report. Thank you, Mrs. Barkas. Item 6.4, curriculum and instruction. Mrs. Wolf. Thank you. At the April 10th Committee of the Whole meeting, the Curriculum and Instruction Committee presented an update on the International Baccalaureate Program. In speaking about the progress of the IB program, Dr. Marchini noted that the district is on track for the application process. The staff has conducted student-parent informational meetings regarding available courses. The career component for the IB program includes STEAM classes, life science and engineering, as well as ROTC classes. During their junior and senior years, students will enroll in two career component classes, two IB courses, along with four, um, it's a four-part IB core. And that includes community service, language development, personal and professional skills course, and a reflective project. Um, there will be an IB authorization visit for the high school, that's in May, and courses for the IB program will begin in the fall of 2017. The next curriculum and instruction committee meeting will be part of the Committee of the Whole, which is May 8th, 6 o'clock in the middle school. And I have a prize for anybody in the audience who can tell me what STEAM stands for? Yes, Mrs. Kindle. Engineering. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Wolf. Item 6.5, Finance Committee, Mrs. Booth. Thank you again, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Fries has asked me to make a short, quick financial report. Uh, he will, however, be on call, as he has been. The district <laughs> is delighted to, re to have received the Moody's rating process results. We have been awarded with an upgrade from AA2 to AA1. This is not only acknowledgement of the financial health 
but it's also an acknowledgement of the excellence in planning capacity by this district. It will also be looked upon favorably by investors as we go out for bond restructuring May 2nd. Congratulations to the Finance Department and especially to Mrs. Crumrine, who does all of this stuff, <laughs> and everybody else who pays for it. But um, Besides the multiple financial items embedded in this evening's agenda, which there are many, administration is deliberating with sharpened pencils as we near our budget deadline. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Booth. Item 6.6, Legislative and Policy Committee, Mrs. Hazard. Thank you. At this time, I have no updates since our last board meeting. We do have a meeting scheduled for May 1st where we have five policies stated for review. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Hazard. Item 6.7, Personnel Committee, Mr. Hughes. No report. Thank you, Mr. Hughes. Item 7, recommended routine matters. Motion to approve, these are consent items. Motion to approve recommended routine matters. Item 7.2.7.10. Motion by Mr. Hughes, second by Mrs. Booth. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. So we're trying to read just here. Item 8.1, approval of routine matters. 8.1 is consent item motion to approve items 8.2 through 8.1, uh, 8.5. Let me so, do that again. Motion to approve matters 8.2 through 8.5. So moved. Second. Motion by Mrs. Booth, second by Mrs. Hazard. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Motion passes. Item 9, board communications. Mrs. Kremlin. No communications, Mr. President. Thank you, Mrs. Kremlin. Item 10, 10.1, board discussion. Are there any discussion items? I have to say that um, the opening at um, East Vincent was uh, long awaited, and um, the kids seemed to be very happy and joyed to be in the new building. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Item 11, anything else? <laughs> Item 11, old business, none. Item 12, 12.1, 12 motion to approve personnel matters. Um, these are consent items 12.2 through 12.14. Motion by Mr. Hughes. Second. Second by Mrs. Barkas. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. All right, we'll move on to item 12.2, retirement resolutions. I'm, oh, I'm sorry, 12.3. You got it. Do you want me to do one at a time or just read them? Uh, you want to just do the one and have one? Yeah. All right. Tyrant resolution for Mrs. Kindle. Whereas Elaine Kindle has, as an employee of the O&J Roberts School District for the past 26 years, has made a significant contribution to the students of the district, and whereas Ms. Kindle has given unselfishly of her time, talent, and energies in serving the youth of our community by performing her job in the best of her abilities, and whereas Ms. Kindle has made a great impact upon the Ellen J. Roberts School District now and in the future, and whereas Ms. Kindle's retirement is richly deserved and recognized as one of the highest honors and distinctions. Therefore, be it resolved that the Owen J. Roberts Board of School Directors, the administration, and fellow employees of the Owen J. Roberts School District express deep appreciation to Ms. Kendall for 26 years of loyal service and wish her good health and continued success in future endeavors. Be it further resolved that the 25th day of April 2017 be officially declared 
Elaine, Elaine Kendall Day in the Owen J. Roberts School District, adopted by the Owen J. Roberts School Directors, I'm sorry, adopted by the Board of Owen School Directors of the Owen J. Roberts School District on the 24th day of April, 2017. said if I made him eat peas, he, I have to say something. <laughs> Mr. Smith and Dr. Christian happened to be walking by while our kindergarten class was tasting peas and pea leaves that we had grown. <laughs> so I told them they had to come in and be models. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity of teaching. It is the biggest joy of my life, except for my family. I have enjoyed every single minute of it. I've taught um, 18 years at North Coventry and the rest of the time at West Vinson. It's a wonderful, wonderful place to teach and a great, um, great, great opportunity to be part of such a faculty and staff. Thank you so much. Thank you. A retirement resolution for Ms. Gola, whereas Gail Gola, as an employee of the O&J Roberts School District for the past 15 years and six months, had made a significant contribution to the students and the district. And whereas Ms. Gola has given unselfishly of her time, talent, and energies in serving the youth of the community, our community by performing her job to the best of her ability, and whereas Ms. Gola has made great impact upon the O&J Roberts School District, now and in the future, and whereas Ms. Gola's retirement is richly deserved and recognized as one as high honor and distinction. Therefore, it be resolved that the Owen J. Roberts Board of School Directors, the administration, and fellow employees of the Owen J. Roberts School District express deep appreciation to Ms. Gola for 15 years and six months of loyal service and wish her good health and continued success in future endeavors. Be it further resolved that the 26th day of April 2017 be officially declared Gail Gola Day in the Owen J. Roberts School District, adopted by the Board of School Directors of the Owen J. Roberts School District on the 24th day of April 2017. So I, I guess that means there's no more getting up at 4 a.m. on snow days. I just asked Mrs. Gola if she'd like me to call her next winter at quarter to five when we're making the decision. She said, sure, give me a call, but I will not be answering. Okay, moving on, new business, item 13.1, approval, approval of teacher appreciation resolution. I need a motion. Second. Motion by Mrs. Booth, second by Mr. Hughes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Dr. Christian will read the resolution. Thank you, Mr. Kleinfelter. Whereas America's greatest strength has always been an ed educated citizenry, and whereas that educated citizenry is directly attributable to our system of free and universal public education that provides an educational opportunity for all students, and whereas the foundation upon which that system of public schooling rests in the classroom teacher, and whereas the classroom teacher is challenged daily to reach out to every student regardless of ability, interest in learning, social or economic background, physical, mental, or emotional handicap, race, religion, creed, or ethnic origin, to provide the assistance and guidance necessary for a full intellectual development, and whereas the classroom teacher is a key to the intellectual and occupational preparation of individual citizens who collectively determine the quality of life in America and in this community, and whereas the work of the classroom teacher deserves the deepest respect and admiration and the citizens of this community. 
Now, therefore, be it resolved at the Owen J. Roberts School District for the purpose of providing public recognition and appreciation for the dedication and contribution of the classroom teacher, not only to this community as a whole, but to each of us as individual citizens. Teacher Appreciation Day on May 2, 2017 be proclaimed. Thank you, Mr. Kleinfelter, and thank you to all of our faculty. Thank you. Item 13.2, approval to grant diplomas to the class of 2017. Motion by Mrs. Barkas, second by Mr. Hughes. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. 13.3, approval of ratification of homebound instruction. Motion by Mrs. Wolf, second by Mrs. Booth. Any discussion? <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. 13.4, approval to establish a student activity account. Second. Motion by Mrs. Wolf, second by Mrs. Barkas. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item 13.5, ratification slash approval of out-of-state slash overnight student trips. Second. Motion by Mr. Hughes, second by Ms. McCurry. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item 13.6, approval of conference attendance. So moved. Second. Motion by Mrs. Wolf, second by Mrs. Barkas. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. 13.7, approval of textbooks for the 2017-2018 school year. So moved. Second. Motion by Mrs. Wolf, second by Mrs. Booth. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. What's that? No, we, we did a conference attendance. Right? He's 13.6 conference attendance, it was fine. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, we did that. All right, 13.8, approval of 2017-2018 instructional staff recommendations. Second. Motion by Mrs. Barkas, second by Mrs. Booth. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. 13.9, approval of award of contract for French Creek roof replacement. So moved. <clears throat> All right, motion by Mrs. Booth, second by Mr. Hughes. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. 13.10, approval of Chester County Intermediate 2017-2018 budget. Motion by Mrs. Barkett, second by Mrs. Hazard. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. 13.11, award of bids in accordance with CCIU joint purchasing agreement. So moved. <laughs> Motion by Mrs. Hazard, second by Mrs. Booth. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. 13.12, approval of professional services and or maintenance agreements. So moved. Second. Motion by Mrs. Wolf. Second by Mrs. Booth. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. 
Item 14.1, public comment, information, proposals, and or questions from individuals of de delegations pertaining to any item. Speakers are to indicate your name and township of residence. Speakers will be limited to not more than three minutes. Good evening, Mr. President, members of the board, members of the administration, members of the public. The American Academy, oh, Cheryl Herzog, Warwick. Yes. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine has issued a position, position paper on April 15, 2017, published in the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine. They now join the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Centers for Disease Control, the American Medical Association, the American Psychological Association, and many other professional and scientific organizations in asserting that the school day should begin at 8.30 a.m. or later for middle school and high school students. This gives adolescents a better opportunity to get the sleep they need to learn and function at their highest level. Just to review, we know that the American Academy of Sleep Medicine recommends that teenagers aged 13 to 18 should sleep 8 to 10 hours on a regular basis. The CDC data show that 68.4% of high school students sleep report sleeping seven hours or less. So they're supposed to get eight to 10, a large percentage get seven hours or less on school nights. Early school start times work contrary to adolescent circadian phys physiology and truncates students' sleep opportunity resulting in chronic sleep loss. Chronic sleep loss is associated with poor school performance, obesity, metabolic dysfunctions and cardiovascular morbidity, increased depressive symptoms, anxiety, suicidal ideation, which we know uh, recently very tragically happened nearby, uh, risk-taking behaviors, athletic injuries. There's also increased risk of motor vehicle accidents, which account for 35% of all deaths and 73% of deaths from unintentional injury in teenagers. Research suggests that crash rates declined by 16.5% following a school start time delay of 60 minutes. Other benefits, besides not having all the previous on the list, of uh, delaying start times include longer total sleep time, reduced daytime sleepiness, increased engagement in classes, reduced tardiness and absences, reduced depressive symptoms and irritability, improved reaction time. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine encourages school boards and policymakers to raise public awareness to promote a national standard of middle school and high school start times of 8.30 or later, ensuring that students begin the day awake, alert, and ready to learn. Unionville-Chadsford School District is also having a board meeting tonight. Its school start time committee made a recommendation to the school board for a delay. Their administration strongly supports the recommendation. Their board will be voting tonight, and the result is expected to be favorable. I'm actually expecting a text to come in any moment. It will probably be by an eight to one margin that that will be a favorable response in shifting their start time starting 2017. The bottom line and clear focus for them has always been student health and wellness, and it needs to become so for this district as well. I don't think that it is too late in the school year for us to have a parent, guardian, teacher, student, public education session. Thank you very much. Thank you. Item 15.1, board request for information. Item 16, go ahead. Is that on? on? Okay. Um, I had made a request that we bring back under Committee of the Whole um, the subcommittees of Extracurricular and Interscholastic and also the Technology Committee um, so that we have a public opportunity for comment for those meetings. Um, the Technology 
topic, I would like to see if we could see what we are doing for our students in terms of cyberbullying, since that's important to make sure we're keeping them as safe as we can. Thank you. I, I made the request that we bring back under the Committee of the Whole the subcommittees of extracurricular and ext interscholastic and also technology. The reason for the technology request was specifically um, to look at social media and cyberbullying and what we're doing for our students to make sure they're safe. Technology is under volumes of ground. I'm, I'm not requesting information. I'm requesting that we look into bringing those committees back. But specifically, you are looking for an update on our, what's being done in bullying. Yeah, would, well, would specific, it, specific, yes, I would like, I think we should do a study to see what we're doing. I'm not sure what we should do exactly, but okay. to get started. Anything else? 16.1, adjournment. We are adjourned. Future dates are listed.